there's no way to get this out of here without that coming out where you replace the end so my chubby fingers which is like most grunts are too thick to hold that and pull it out what i've been doing is i just rip it out everything is all the weight is on that thread now and i just find a way to get this out now this is so hard to get out because it's so tight once you get mud and stuff up in there it just it doesn't want to come out so there you can see where i've boogered this all up doing that so now we got to line the knot up get the knot back in there thread it back in there and you can see it doesn't want to go back in now that's the best i can get you got the rest of this sticking out of here and this doesn't even go back in and that happens on every single one so every single one is a pain in the butt to deal with and i'm pretty sure eventually i'm going to rip this cordage that's in there because it's just really wimpy shock cordage i see the point they were copying the army combat shelter this is too tight and as soon as you start getting mud and stuff up in there it starts getting worn out i mean look at that it would be hard to get that out either way despite one of these loops just popping off when i pulled on it i was actually going to pass this because everything else is awesome the two-door design is awesome the double gazebo is awesome there are a lot of awesome functionalities on this tent but the number one most important flaw with this tent is this i wouldn't take this into the field with me at all just because of that so light fighter thank you very much for sending out the tent for testing like i said besides a couple small issues i actually would have passed this but as far as grunt proof goes i'm gonna have to give this one a big no-go fail be sure to like and subscribe until that next video i'll see you guys in the outdoors out